Hello everybody, I'm Storm here. Welcome back to the Horse Lord Mega Campaign in Stellaris. In the last episode, we continued with our ongoing efforts to upgrade and improve the fleet, which is continuing to go. We also have our mega structures under construction, our mega shipyard, our um, crystal megabore, which is all running. And we've been working on exploring the wormhole cohesive systems. And we found the source of the enigmatic pattern. And we're beginning to work on that. That's, I believe, this uh, archaeological site there. So, we are continuing that project. All the while, still waiting for this war to end over here, which should hopefully be soon. And then we can get to work on that. That project. So. We shall see. Of course, continued improvements to our... Our empire's industrial output and production. Ongoing project. So, we'll just go ahead and get her all running. And see what we're going to do. Now, in the last episode, I mentioned that um, I was trying Our to ships have been made superior. record at a new resolution. But I'm going back to 1080. Hopefully, the interface elements are not too small. Um, I'm trying to see about potentially scaling them up a little bit. Our ships have been made superior. All right. The issue is that while it records fine... Um, the post-processing and rendering of the videos at that resolution is uh, a bit time-consuming. Uh, so, I'm going to keep things at 1080 for the time being. Achieved. Until, eventually, I can get my video hardware upgraded. Which, who knows when that's going to be. All right, so gravitational field control. Here we go. Dentry array. Mega structure. Extend sensor range to cover the entire galaxy. Oh my. Macro atmospheric stabilizer. The macro atmospheric stabilizer is capable of partially controlling a gas giant's upper atmosphere, rendering it somewhat habitable. Gas giant colonies possess unique generator research and rare gas districts alongside unique planetary features. The larger the gas giant, the larger the resulting colony. And these mega structures are really interesting. Let's grab the gas giant atmospheric stabilization. All right. Crystal Megabore Gravo... Gravita generator complete. Our crystal megabore's gravita generator is now complete. This large structure fully encircles the megabore's hub and will provide it with energy. It will also serve as a catalyst for the megabore's main drill and drastically amplify the strength of its gravitational tractor beam. Wonderful. All right. The next, the actual megabore itself is 1500 alloys, 933 days do it all right let's go take a look at it though all right so i guess that's the gravity generator down there and now we are putting the actual bore itself on the structure our ships have been made superior Probe. What our scientists initially believed to be a piece of common space waste was, in fact, an exploration drone of a never-seen-before design. 
It looks old, but more technologically advanced than anything we have uh, we have seen. Our scientists think that the drone will once belonged to an ancient empire. They suggest further research on it to, to uncover any important information it could contain. Examine the drone. Is that like a new situation? Or a situation log? Okay, interesting. The reality code. Blow zero. Roger 5 is not only an ice giant, but an ice giant made up of very unusual ices. There are pockets of zero trapped within the reach, within reach of the upper levels of the planet's atmosphere. Fascinating. All right, so we found a deposit. Excellent. Oh, keep on working. What's this? The object considered as space debris was actually an ancient probe of advanced technology. Okay, it's a new archaeological site there in the Macmillan system. I begin to wonder if I shouldn't um, start trying to colonize some of these systems here. have an arctic world very large no special traits max mode harvesting traps mass extraction wells crystalline mines um, that's a very good planet to colonize. Thing is... We would have to get... A wormhole over there. They don't believe that colony ships can do experimental subspace navigation. Only science ships can do that. Alright. So, I would need someone that can do... Arctic worlds, right? Tundra's close. Arid, no. Arid. Desert. Arctic worlds. Thimoid. Mm, nah. Norani. Metal exoskeleton. Alloys from livestock. No, no, no. Oh, wow. <laughs> so that means if, if you basically classify these guys as livestock and harvested them as food, um, you'd also get allo alloys from them. Big. Incense. Gigantic. Minerals from jobs. He's thimoid. I think are what we would actually need. Go ahead and start building a colony ship. I will have to see if I can send them to a specific system.
All right, let's check my defense stations. Our ships have been made superior. Here we Our go. Our ships have been made superior. Our ships have been made superior. <laughs> Our ships have been made superior. 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 We need to keep these guys topped off. Superior. Our ships have been made superior. Our ships have been made superior. Our ships have been made superior. <laughs> All right. Our ships have been made superior. Our ships have been made superior. Hold on, we have an archaeological event. Was this something new or old one? No, that's old one. Let's get rid of that so that it stops bothering me. There we go. Our ships have been made superior. Our ships have been made superior. Speaking of ships. Our ships have been made superior. 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 All right, 390 days. Our ships have been made superior. On the mega shipyard. So Our ships have been made superior. We still need ion Our cannons. Ships have been made superior. Our ships have been made superior. All right, so like one of these defense Our stations. Ships have been made superior. Like how much firepower does this Our station ships have? have been made superior. Our ships have been made superior. Forty-two thousand. Not bad. Our ships have been made superior. At least they would be able to put up a fight and do some damage. That's that's really all I can ask. Scientific breakthrough achieved. All right, there's neutronium armor, and we need upgrades across the entire board again. Marauder missiles, biosynthetic me uh, metallurgy, megastructure alloys cost minus ten percent. That is significant. grab it all right fleets go ahead and get your armor upgraded That isn't what I clicked on. We still don't actually control that system because we're still surveying. But goodness gracious. That is a lot of resources in this system. All right, reality code, toxic excavation. 
To protect the dig site for the excavation from the hazardous atmosphere, a small isolated dome made out of corrosion and heat-resistant material was built around the location of the dig site. The equipment was installed and is ready for deployment. Due to the location of the source being only a few dozen kilometers under the surface, a conventional excavator can be used to drill a tunnel to the lo its location. After the hole has been drilled, a specialized manned research unit will be sent down the hole to investigate the source. The excavation can now begin. Good. Continue the work. I believe this is the last planet or moon, technically. Class T brown dwarf. So I guess that would technically be a planet, because a brown dwarf is technically Our a star. Ships have been made superior. As opposed to being a gas giant. Kind of right on that edge. System survey complete. Alright. We're gonna use some cash for that. Do you have any construction ships over here that are not busy? You are apparently not busy. You apparently need to be building some mining stations. And then once you're done mining stations there, go ahead and head over here and get some mining stations and some research stations built. Ah! Okay. So... Now, do I send them to a new cohesive star and hope that it gets there? No, this does not say new. Let's go ahead and send it the points of interest and hope that it heads to the Emerald system. Because then we're going to send them to the Clement system to colonize that planet there. Right, there it goes. Yep, and it ended up in the Amaral system. Excellent. And head to this planet. Where is it? There it is. Colonize the planet. No, we didn't want to hit an unexplored system. We wanted to actually hit an explored system, so that is good. Construction complete. All right, excellent. Head back over here and get that mining station built. There you go.
Come on, guys. Just, just put an end to this war, please. They just have a few systems left. Sometimes, man. The AI can be goofy. Scientific breakthrough achieved. All right, there's our macro macro atmospheric stabilizer. Excellent. Oh, I need to check one thing. Uh, whole crystalline prismatic sensors. I guess we'll try that. Volkil. 29 out of 29. It should be ready to begin the Arcology project. 20,000 minerals. We've got it. 200 influence. We've got it. And 10 years. Begin the project. of a new world has begun. All right, we're colonizing that planet. Then we have a savanna world here. What do you have? Dust caverns, mode harvesting traps, dust desert. Moat harvesting traps, bubbling swamp, gas extraction wells, crystalline caverns, crystal mines, more crystal mines, and another alien zoo. That is another excellent planet to colonize. I'd almost say we want to go ahead and get another star base here. Even though we're still over capacity and I haven't seen an option to get anything that would increase our capacity. Uh, we're going to go for it anyway. We can afford it. You know, we're, we're doing fine as far as production. So that's not a problem. Yet. Give me a city district there. Oh, uh, let's see. You need amenities. Complete. You have two buildings that are still ruined that need to be um, upgraded. Keep moat. Volatile moats. Get all those going.
All right. How are upgrades going? Upgrades still running? Yep, upgrades are still running. Yep, it's burning pretty much all of our alloys. 37 days on the Mega Shipyard Framework. That'll be done in a minute. All right, archaeological site. Speaking of archaeological sites. The excavator has finished its work. The hole has been drilled and has a depth of about 43 kilometers. The source of the enigmatic pattern may be more than one kilometer deeper, but because the exact size of the source could not be determined, precautions have been taken. When the manned unit has reached the end of the tunnel, it will use its own tools to reach the source. The unit can now be t uh, uh, launched. The manned drilling unit reported that it has reached the location of the source. The location itself is already really strange after reaching approximately about 300 meters to the location of the source the crust material suddenly ended and they reached a hollow space inside the crust inside this space a construct that appears to be the source is located it is shaped in the form of an octahedron with a diameter of exactly 2.5 kilometers at its largest extent the entire space around the object appears to be wobbling for unknown reasons as if the object is projecting some sort of force field. This could also explain why there is such a big empty space around the source in the first place. Based on surface scans, the surface is composed of material of unknown composition. Thermal scans reveal an astonishing property of the object. Its thermal temperature is at almost absolute zero. In the orders of Zepto-Kelvin. Colder than black holes. At such low temperature, the state of an object can almost be seen as frozen in time. How the construct can reach this temperature and for what reason is unknown. The same can be said for the force field that it appears to generate. Scanners cannot penetrate a surface and detect no signs of emitting radiation, only average field excitations and weak fluctuations of the enigmatic pattern. The only way we can find out more is by trying to somehow find a way into the object. All right. Interesting. Uh, do we have... You have no orders. All right. You have a research project to do. Go ahead and head over there. You have no orders. You have an excavation site or an archaeological site to excavate. And probably... Not sure how long investigating this giant skeleton is going to take. 180 days. Okay, that's not bad. That's on this tiny little moon here. The core of the mega shipyard has been put in place. All that remains is to add the vast ship construction berths. And how much is that going to set me back? Another 10,000 alloys. Scientific breakthrough achieved. Crystalline prismatic sensors, five. Good. Vexed arc emitter. Standardized supercomputers. Crystalline dipyramidal sensors, crystal anisotropic matrix. Starbase damage plus 20%. Sounds interesting. We could use some additional starbase damage. Our right, core is in place. All right, what is the new res Relocate the galactic market. I don't care. Yeah, we'll abstain. All right.
mine. Can I get anywhere close to 10,000 alloys? No. Scientific breakthrough achieved. Well, those alloys should let the upgrades get done. There you go. All right, planetary geothermal stabilizers. Transforming a molten planet into a habitable world. All right. I guess we'll get the improved so unrest decision. Um. So, no valid target within range. We'll add unrest to every planet that is four hyperspace jumps. Six, if you have researched rebellious persuasions. As owned by an empire that you are not friendly towards, provided the planet has pops that are affected by happiness. We'll also add an unhappiness modifier to pops of your empire species. Your research to take rebellious persuasions will also create ethics attraction in favor of your empire's main ethic. And pops of that ethic will be given an unhappiness modifier. If you are a fanatic egalitarian or if you are a fanatic xenophile and your target is xenophobe, it also applies to slaves. Okay, interesting. I guess there aren't any enemy planets? Or are we considered friendly with these guys? Yeah, we're friendly with those guys. Okay. And their planets are probably too far away. Alright, but I think that we are at the end of this episode here. Yeah, the Clemens system seems to be the hub there. So, we'll go ahead and... Finish up that excavation, then probably send this science vessel back to the wormhole generator and send it somewhere else. And we'll continue excavating and um, improving this little region of the galaxy. And watching and waiting for our opportunity to present itself over here. Continuing to keep everybody upgraded and topped off. and get our mega structures built. All right, so for now, we'll stop here. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.